is on researching your business idea under the starting of a business. When you want to start a business, you have to research and look into a lot of things to see if your business is going to turn out great. You have to compare, you have to have a clear understanding of the points I'm going to be raising in this video. You have to research, ask your friends, your family, would they buy this product? You have to go in depth into a market analysis, look into the market, look at your competitors, look at your the trend in the in the sector or the industry you're going into and you have to be able to forecast and see what you might be able to do in the future or to see how this business that you want to go into will grow you have to ask yourselves yourself or yourselves enough questions you have to ask yourself are people going to buy my product or service at the price you want to sell it look at your competitors and then decide if you want to go into that business or not do not skip your research it's very easy to jump right into a business without researching and making sure everything is fine you're going to be spending a lot of money. You're going to be paying interest if you're going to be loaning or lending from the bank. And even if you're not lending from the bank, if it's your money, you cannot afford to just throw your money down the drain. So you must research. Do not skip your research. A successful business person does their own work properly go to the library visit the library visit the business and intellectual property center it's got a lot of resources available to business people or to entrepreneurs who are wanting to start a business this will uh, the information you're going to get from this library will include market research reports which will give you detail on the major players in a particular market sector the size of their market share the sector's potential for growth and so on so go to the library speak to the librarian get help and research Research your competitors. Look at what your competitors are doing. This is very critical. You have to scrutinize their website, order their products, use their services. Look at how and where they sell their products and services. How much they charge search online for reviews of them and their products study them see if they are a private company or public search for them on companies house you have to look at your competitors and see what they are doing very well and use that you are trying to find out what they do well so you can do the same or even better and also what they do badly so you can do better you have to research your competitors find your niche look at what other products or services are currently being sold in the sector or the market you're going into are you or what you want to do will it be able to fit in are you aiming to be the cheapest or the most expensive providing luxury 
Do you want to be in the middle? Who will be above and below in terms of price and quality? You have to look at that. You want to be the one above in terms of price and quality or you want to be between or you want to be below in terms of price and quality. Then draw up and think about your market segment. Who are your target customers? How are you going to make your product appealing to them? Look at where your target customers are, the demographics. What kind of jobs do, do, do you want them to, to be in? What kind of customers will continue to buy from you? Not the one that will buy once and then not come back. Are you going to prioritize the ones who continue to buy? How often they will be buying your products and why? You have to find your niche. Research into defining and analyzing your target market. Is there a market for the business that you want to do, the product or service, service or services that you want to bring into the market? Is it big enough to support your personal goal? As I said before, you have to consider your competitive landscape. And you must know your main competitors. Look at their weaknesses and strengths. Look at the market opportunities and threats. Because something's what? You have to look at the strengths, weakness, opportunity, and threats. What? You want a clear idea of the overall market and how your business would fit into this. Research by finding out if there is demand for your product or service. Is there a direct demand or an indirect demand for your goods or services? Or will you have to educate your customers of the need and usefulness of your goods and services before they understand and they begin to buy? Use the search engines. Key in your particular keywords and you will be able to find out how many people have used that particular search term to find things on the internet in the past months. Find out if there is demand for your product or service. Research into understanding your potential customers. You have to, you have, to have a clear understanding of who your potential customers will be including demographic data and business details if you're going to be selling business to business. Even if you're not going to be selling business to business, you have to ask your potential customers for their views. Go to where you think your target customers are mostly likely to be found. Where are they going to be found? Think about it. Go there. Are you targeting families or mothers? Go to mothers, mother and toddler play group. Are you targeting is your market going to be in the gym sector? Go to the gyms. If you're creating baby products, go and speak to the mothers. Chat to them. Whatever you find out will give you a clear picture of what customers are thinking about. At that point, you can start to get some quantitative research. Ask people, as many people as you can. You can do a research online. 
join a Facebook group and ask them to um, help you to fill the research in. You can do a poll on Facebook and then just find out what your potential customers, where they are, how they think, what they want. You have to research into marketing and sales plan. You have to have a good understanding of, of how you will reach your potential clients and grow your market share. This is very, very important to success. How are you going to reach them? Are you going to use Facebook adverts? Are you going to use Google adverts? Are you going to use YouTube? How much would it cost you? You have to look at this and include this in your sales plan. See and have an understanding of what your marketing and sales activities will be. Look in depth into what channels you will be needing to use and how you're going to use them. Look properly into the cost of marketing and sales plan. Research into making sure your business model will work. Given the current market and your customers, your potential customers, you have to look into this this is important because sometimes it is overlooked a business model describes how your business will create deliver and capture your segment the segment that you want to be in the sector that you want to be in the process of business model you looks into the innovation and other parts of business strategies. By strategy, I mean how you're going to break things down into bits. Your business model, looking into it, you have two parts. How you're going to look at how you're going to be purchasing your raw materials, putting together your product or your service. And the second part, you're going to be looking at how you'll be selling, finding and reaching customers. Selling to, finding and reaching customers. Are you going to be online or is it just going to be brick and mortar, which is just having a physical presen presence on the streets, in a building, you have to look and make sure the business model that you want to take up will work. Look at what your competitors are doing and see if you can do what they are doing or better. You have to look at funding, research into how you're going to find funding for your business. How much is it going to cost to set up the business? Is it going to be significant or just a little? This is a key factor on whether your business could work as it depends on your resources and your ability to raise finance if needed. So research into business funding. How you're going to fund? Are you going to use the bank? Are you going to use your own savings? Are you going to ask friends and family? Are you going to, in future, from the next month or, or six months time, start paying interest? You have to look at the business funding. So, in summary, you need to do a research when you're starting a business. 
you have to research your business idea, go to the library, find out what customers are looking for, research your competitors, ask your potential customers for their views, find your niche, analyze your target markets, see if there's demand for your product or service, Understand your potential customers, have and research into the marketing and sales sector of your business and make sure your business model will work. Do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification button. Thank you.